guys, my name is Kim Kardashian West. If you look up celebrity makeup tutorials on YouTube, the most common one you'll be able to find is probably a Kim Kardashian look. And although she has had many looks throughout the years, perhaps none is more iconic than the one she wore in her 2007 sex tape. This is truly the moment that defined 2000s pop culture. I don't think anyone else has done that look before, probably for good reasons, but I thought it would just be hilarious to recreate. And I said if my tweet got 500 likes, I would do it and it got 500 likes. So if you wanna see how to do this look or you just wanna have a good laugh, please keep watching. <laughs> okay, we're really doing this. For a foundation, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. Back then, everyone was about that full coverage foundation look. And I'm doing a little bit on my neck as well. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Kim hasn't met Mario yet at this point, so she hasn't learned how to do that white out under eye look yet. So this color matches my foundation. I'm still gonna put up just a little bit more than I usually would because Kim is very full coverage and her whole face is really snatched. So I am putting concealer around the corners of my mouth. Under my eyes, my brow bones to lift my entire face up. I'm blending the concealer down to my eyelids a little bit so I could prime them because we're gonna put on a lot of eyeshadow today. Next, I'm setting my face with the RCMA No Color Powder and back then they powder the whole face. Next, we'll be doing the infamous 2007 Kim Kardashian brows. The arches back then, Anastasia really saved her life. So I'm gonna start with the bottom. And her brows back then were way shorter than they are now with a sharp and angled upper arch like this. And she makes the front of her brows a boxy square, like that. Oh my God, what a dark time. I'm pretty sure this was when she was still doing her own makeup. I'm gonna bring my brows closer together because her brows were much closer than mine. And I'm drawing little hairs in the beginning cause I don't think she trimmed her brows back then. And I'm actually gonna go in with a black eyeliner to really intensify the bottom arch. Next, we're going to put a little bit more of that setting powder under my eyes just to lighten this area a little bit more. So back then, she wasn't contouring nearly as much as she does now, but I kind of want to mimic her nose shape because it's so iconic, so I'm going to use the Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I'm taking the shade Medium Cocoa and just contouring the two sides of my nose. And I'm actually drawing a slight shadow from my nostril up the beginning of my brows, I'm just doing a thin line down to the tip of my nose. And I'm gonna take a bit of light cocoa and just apply it with my fingers down the bridge of my nose. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just shading it on my nostrils. I'm going back in with a medium cocoa and just getting some of her cheekbones. I'm doing the jawline as well. And to get a bit of that fake tan look, I'm using the shade Dark Cocoa, which is a warmer, warmer shade of contour and just applying this on my forehead and a little bit of it right above my contour like that to really push up the cheekbones. Next is blush, and I'm taking the Milani T-Rose Powder Blush. The key here is to use a Barbie color, and I'm applying it right on the apples of my cheeks and pulling it up. And don't be scared to put a lot of it. Pull it so high up that it's almost hitting the side of your eye. Next, we're gonna do the eyes. I'm using the Milani Bold Obsessions palette and we're just gonna be using these two colors. You just wanna find a gray shimmer shade. I'm using my fingers and applying it all over the inner lid. And feel free to bring this color up even above your crease. Back then we left very little space in the brow bones. So just go ham with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. contour brush. I'm just gonna pick up this 
matte black color and almost drawing a C shape right here. I don't know why we as a generation just decided that this is the right way to apply eyeshadow from the end of the lash line to right above your crease and I'm just applying a little bit more in the outer corners to intensify the color blending the edges with a clean brush and then I'm bringing the matte black color down to my lower lash line it's like when we first discovered the smoky eye. Next, taking the black eyeliner I used earlier, I'm just gonna tight line my upper and lower lash line. Finally, I'm taking the shade Bear in Mind. I'm using that as a brow bone highlight. And again, go ham with the highlight. We do not want this to look natural at all. Now I'm taking my, ha, better than sex mascara, and I'm just applying this all over my lashes. and then wait for it to dry and then apply another coat and just make them look super clumpy on purpose like you have been using this mascara for seven years and I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara carefully on my brows because her brows were much darker than mine for the sake of this video I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Lip Liner For gloss, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in So Cute. And as a final step, I'm gonna use the Etude House Hot Style Photo Hairliner because her hairline was thick. Just applying it on the two sides and blending it out. A little bit more light cocoa on the nose. And we're done! <laughs> If you're new here, please watch another video. I don't want this to be the only impression you have on my channel. But thank you anyway for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.